I am going to repeat my post repaste test because a commenter under my video had mentioned to me my blender in that I had the integrated graphics instead of the discrete graphics during that test even though my pre repaste was done using the discrete graphics so this is basically going to redo it everything you've seen before including having Volta turned off it's not power limiting it's not doing anything and this time it has the discrete graphics we can see the temperatures here in uh, Intel power gadget now I'm doing a screen recording and that's why again just like I mentioned in my other video the temperature is going up because of that screen recording and uh, we've got the same Cinebench version R15 right here. So we will go ahead and proceed to do this test. Okay, and by the way, the ambient room temperature is 17.7 degrees Celsius right now. So it is a little bit cooler in my room than it was when I had done my video previously, and obviously that's going to have some effect. Uh, we can see the score here, 511. And just to show you, I only have my QuickTime screen recording, power gadget, and Cinebench running at the moment. No other apps are pulling it down. And if we look at our fans in here, uh, just to let you know, I have it on 50%. It's ramped up higher than 50 because, just like I said in my other video, it ramps up as it needs it. But the baseline fan speed was set at 50%. So you can see the Radeon GPU as opposed to the Intel GPU. And before I run the test again, I'm going to let the temperature cool down a bit. I have it locked here, so it's not going to switch to integrated. And so now I'm going to turn on the same settings as before, 797 minus 75 millivolts under volts and 52 watt power limit apply that okay unfortunately because of the screen recording it's not going to drop the temperatures down much past 60. Give me a few seconds here before I start it though.
And it's locked right at about 60, so I can go ahead and start the CPU test again. Five thirty-four. So you can now see how it compared in my video. I apologize for having overlooked this point, but um, this is what I should have done uh, at the end of my video post repaste. And when considering these numbers, yes, again the ambient room temperature is seventeen point seven degrees Celsius, but um, also consider that it's been a number of months since I repasted it and ran this last test in August 2019 and it's now towards the end of April 2020 so you can see how well that the paste has fared after this amount of time. Thank you for watching.